This is a quick screencast explaining how to sort out your privacy settings, particularly now that Facebook has the new timeline. So I've logged in, here's my news feed. But if I go to my profile, my new timeline, it's important that you're happy with what people can see on your timeline. So this is what I can see. It's giving me lots of information because it's me and it knows that it's me. However, for me to look at how this would look, to somebody else I need to go to this drop down here from the little cog and say view as and you'll get to this page here now you can either enter a friend's name it could be an ex-partner I'm just saying or it could be that you want to look at what the public can see now I think this is relevant because say I got kidnapped tomorrow journalists would immediately go to my Facebook to see what they could find out about me and I'd want to make sure that there was nothing on there that was embarrassing. So I've clicked on the what does this look like to the public and you can see that the journalists would find very little. They'd see a nice picture of a sunset in South Africa. Uh, they'd see a picture of me. You can't do anything about that except I could just have a profile picture of a banana but um, I'm happy with that photo. Um, and you can see nothing about me. You can't see who my friends are. You can't see the only photo you can see is that cover art. Um, you can't see my activity. You can't see my last status update you really can't see anything about me so I'm very happy with that now if you did the same test and you suddenly thought oh goodness what if I got kidnapped what would people see you need to sort out your own uh, privacy settings so to do that you go to the drop down menu at the very top and click on privacy apologies for the interchangeable privacy privacy um, I'm catering to different global audiences um, so here at the very top in small blue writing where it says edit your timeline information uh, you'll get a page like this and what it allows you to do for each different thing is to edit it with this little drop down menu at the moment it's got friends but I could customize to a particular group of friends or I could say only me which obviously is very good for your birthday and other things you don't want anybody else to know so for each thing you need to edit each thing and make sure that you're happy with the information on each of those um, and if I go back to my profile, my uh, timeline here, for each thing, so whether it's my friends, if I click on that um, and edit that, this is when I say who can see your friend list on your profile. I'm at the moment saying only me. I don't want anybody else to see who my friends are. Again, going back to the profile, with photos, you can go through each photo and say who do I want to see, which is public, which is private. Uh, it gives you lots of flexibility here to decide who can see what of your photos. Um, again, with subscriptions, you might not necessarily want everybody to know that you like X Factor, for example. Uh, you can decide what who sees what, again, by clicking Edit, and each time saying, only me, only me, only me. So it gives you lots of flexibility, uh, which is obviously something that's important here. Um, and even with Activity Log, if I click on that finally, um, again it shows me here who can see it, what's locked, what's not. So despite the fact that Facebook gets criticism um, around privacy, actually if you spend 10 minutes uh, you'll be able to lock everything down. And the final thing I'd say again is go to here, home, privacy settings, and as well as your overall profile there's a couple of other things. Here where it says control your default privacy, this is if you're using another phone, for example a Blackberry, it might be that you're happy with your lockdown settings on your desktop but you take a photo of your new baby or you take a video on your Blackberry, post that via Facebook and actually that's going public. So make sure you've got this as friends or custom and here make sure that you spend time on each of these, how tags work, edit that so that you're happy with whether people can tag you or not in photos down the pub. Again, with um, apps and websites, click that and go through each of these things. The bottom one, public search. Are you happy with people being able to find you publicly? I've unticked it because I like it to be locked down, but all of these decisions are up to you, um, but you need to spend a good 10 minutes going through all of these things to make sure you're happy with your own personal settings.